Okay, everybody, so here we are playing Street Fighter Alpha Warriors Dreams on uh, the PlayStation. This is the PlayStation Home Port. I do have this one. It came in one of those long boxes before PlayStation games came in jewel cases. It was one of the first PS1 games. But I didn't get it right away. I didn't have my PlayStation right away. Got it later on. I actually had Alpha 2 first, and then I bought this one off of eBay. So there you have it. Uh, any time. Okay, here we go. I'll play the shit out of this. First, set the buttons up. Alright. Wait a minute. Nope. Not exactly right. Okay, there we go. Sounds a bit off on this, but whatever. That's emulation for you. Even if you have the real disc, it's PlayStation emulation is pretty good, but not perfect. And with Street Fighter games, it tends to be kind of iffy. I've noticed. Like this is really slow. You know, and I think I might try it in the other one, um, emulator, just because that's just running so poorly. Let's try that. It's been happening more and more lately where I've been using this PSX instead of EPSXE. Uh, Alright, let's try this instead. Because that's not really running too well. See how this goes. No, no, this seems to be running a bit slow too. What up with that? Could use the capture card. Just put it in my PlayStation 2 and do that. Nah, it's running better, just from navigating the menus, I can tell. Oh. Let me close the other one. Alright. Rock and or roll. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, let's play as... Hmm. Let's play as Ryu. It's not running perfect, but it's running better than before. Who is it? We're fighting Birdie? Yeah, Birdie. This weird coliseum, but not in the coliseum. Or like cats wandering around. I never understood that, but it's a little slow, but good enough to show the game off at least. Yeah. Fuck you, Barry. Nobody likes you. Nah, gotcha. Yeah, for some reason Street Fighter games don't emulate well. I've noticed that specifically, like Street Fighter Collection and whatnot, didn't emulate well on PlayStation. That's okay. Since I own most of these games, I may just use the capture card. Because I can do that, you know, I don't know. Just pl pop the games in the PlayStation 2 and play them like that. The 
does necessitate finding the games, but it should be too hard if necessary. Oh. Yeah, I forgot that you can't do a level 3 super without pressing all three buttons in Street Fighter Alpha. They fixed that on Alpha 3. It's okay, I finished them off, but... For level 1, 2, and 3, you'd have to press, like, 1. Like, for example, for the Shinku Hadouken, you'd have to press one, 1 punch, 2 punches, or 3 punches together. Instead of just doing it as, um, you know, light punch, medium punch, and hard punch. Here's Rose. Rose shares the same background with Birdie, as you can see. A couple of characters share backgrounds in Alpha. It's interesting to get Birdie and Rose right back to back like that, but... I should finish it. Oh, she knocked me out of it. Well, there we go. Kicked her foot instead. Like, Bitch, who wears high heels to a fight? Really? High heels, a long dress, and a scarf. You're just asking to get your ass kicked. It's like you're going to fall down, trip over your dress, get tangled up in the scarf. Well, she does use the scarf as a weapon because she uses magic. So there is that. Yeah. I could have done the super without that. That's, that's more humiliating. Who's next? I look forward to our next battle. Aidan. Oh, he's an asshole. The big mechanic... Well, there's two big mechanics that Street Fighter Alpha introduced. One was the air blocking, which is sort of taken as a matter of course in many games now. But yeah, it came from Street Fighter Alpha, and the other was the Alpha Counters, which pretty much got forgotten after the second game. The second game used them as well. But then the third game, it had Alpha Counters, but it changed the mechanic. They became harder to do, and, and quite honestly, not worth it. Adon is the one character that I always would Alpha Counter, though, especially in Alpha 2. This, this this particular background, he shares it with Sagat, it always freaked me out. It's it's basically just like a foot fetish thing to me. I mean, that's like the sort of picture you see on a foot fetish person's YouTube channel or something. Which I, I find foot fetishes to be just weird. I guess there are worse things that you could be obsessed with, but still, it's like, really? He was just asking for the alpha counter there, but whatever. All right, I'll say one more, and then we'll call it a day for this, because I have more versions of alpha to play. Sodom. Sodom was in Final Fight. He was a level two boss, but when they brought it to Super NES, they changed his name to Katana. Because I guess they thought Sodom was too much like sodomy. I don't know. It's weird. He also uses those weird two-pronged weapons, like, sort of similar to a Psy, but not quite, because Psy's are three prongs. So I don't really know, like, some kind of weird two-pronged dagger. But I know in, in, in Alpha 3, if you use him as Exism, which is like the old-school battle, he'll use his Katanas. Oh, 
bad, though. Believe it or not, I believe he shares this background with M. Bison. It's like the most dull, boring, lifeless background possible. Alpha did not have good backgrounds. It wasn't until Alpha 2 that the series really kind of became good. Jesus Christ. Asshole. Alright, I'm gonna stop here. Uh that's quite enough for that. We got more, two more versions of it coming up, so I'll see you guys real soon with the next video.